D two D N Y Real World H V A C simplified. And now in this video, I am performing a refrigerant leak inspection on these here uh, Fujitsu. mini splits as you can see there is uh, three actually four zones on this unit so it's four zones and um, there's only three out of the four zones being used and the zone that's in the bottom that has a leak refrigerant leak but you will be surprised where I find this leak. If you're a mechanic, if you're a beginner, if you're a pro, you're gonna be surprised. You're gonna be extremely surprised where this leak was found, all right? But before we get into the video, as always, I want you to go ahead and uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed and smash that bell icon. So when I upload videos like these, you get them right away. All right, so I'm gonna turn on this is the pipe that goes to the bottom and I have the insulation, the insulation stripped away. As you can see it. Okay, this, is where, this, is where, this is what is leaking guys, this pipe is leaking. Um, here is the insulation. Okay, so I have it stripped away. I intend in, intend in to replace it with this pipe this piece right here already flared ready to go so I'm gonna turn this on I'm gonna show you where it's leaking from you're going to be surprised you will be definitely be surprised when you see where this thing is leaking from I want you to comment in the comment section if you have experienced something like that before all right okay so my uh, leak detector is ready and so I'm gonna point out the leak is right down in this pipe right here. Like I said before, it's right in this pipe. But let me zoom in, there is no splice, there is no joints. And you can see all the oil on that pipe. You can see the oil. The pipe is oily. It's oily. So uh like right here it's dry with the oil stops right here but let me show you what's going on with this thing let me zoom in show you what's going on with the leak detector Crazy. Right in this area. Straight pipe. Here's no I got car horns going off and my detector going off simultaneously. Right there. Crazy, right guys? No joint, no weld, straight copper. It's 
So there you have it. Comment in the comment section if you have experienced anything like this. There you have it, strangest thing. And I noticed that there's a lot of oil in this covering. There's a covering. See all the oil on my finger? Look at that, there's oil. So much oil, you can see the oil on my gloves. Right, on the covering. Insulation. Lots of oil on insulation. So this is how I noticed that, and this is how I found this leak. I traced it down because I saw the oil. Crazy. But nonetheless, I'll be replacing with this one. I already made my flare. Perfect flare. I had a nut in the van, so made the flare. Perfect. Flare is perfect. Alright. If you want to know if you want to know how to make flares like this, then uh I got a video on my channel. Go check it out. So I'm gonna let this out right now. Cut this pipe right here. Because right here, you can see that the oil, there's no oil stain up here. So I cut it right here. As you can see, the oil stains started going this way, starting to oil. It gets worse as you go down here. Alright, so cut it all right here, put a coupling, and uh, just replace that piece. No flare. All right. Can see the no temp the pressures. Four sixty seven, and this is a slow leak. So this is driving me crazy. I guess once you're in a heating mode or cooling mode, it will accelerate and leaks faster. So yeah. And if you like this video, thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, do it right now. Let me see if I can get a, a, a confirmation with this. Stay tuned. It's kind of hard to get down there. Maybe I could just bring, bring the pipe up. Bring the pipe up. And then because it was somewhere in this area right here. Somewhere in this area. Let me try, let me try and see if I can get some bubbles off of that leak. Alright, uh, yeah, I have bubbles confirmation. Got a big blow right here in my hand. I'm trying to get it down there. I'm sure you guys could see it. Right there. See, right there. Crazy, right, guys? Comment in the comment section if you think this is crazy. If you are a pro or a beginner, that's crazy, man. On the street pipe, and this thing was driving me nuts. I couldn't, I couldn't. It was not easy to pinpoint, even with, pinpoint even with the lead detector. I was just going by the traces of oil, but to find this. It's crazy. Yup. Definitely. Leaking in the straight pipe. Crazy. You guys will subscribe so you get stuff like this on my channel. Help out you guys, help you guys out.
Yeah, I had to make a video. I had to make a video on this. Crazy, man. Look at that. Huh? This will drive any technician, whether you're a pro, you're a beginner. Crazy. This will drive you nuts. You're not going to expect to find a leak here. Come on. This is just a straight pipe. And look how small the leak is. But when it operates, it will leak faster because the pipe will expand or contract. You know? So, yeah, look at that. So, I had to make a video. I may have to make this video. Do this video so you guys could see it. You know what I mean? So, when you're looking for a leak check on these systems, you know, this will definitely going to help you out because a leak like this, you check all your flares. You know, you check all your connections. If you have any solder or splice, you check that. But a leak like this, you'll never expect it. It's like really unexpected. All right, that's it. Closing this off right now.